Hello my dear students and my dear friends. We are in the chapter again in plane geometry and we have taken a new exercise that is exercise 8.2. At first we shall start with the theorem. This exercise is based on two properties or two concepts. One is this theorem and second thing is that there is a question number one of this exercise. So those two questions are the concept of this, two ex this exercise, exercise 8.2. So at first, let us know what is this theorem. You have to understand this theorem properly. Then only you will be solve any sum of this exercise. The exercise is very easy, but you have to understand the property or the theorem. I should say theorem here. Let us read the theorem. The internal bisector of the vertical angle of a triangle divides its base in the ratio of the other two sides. Okay. So for this, what we do? Let us consider a triangle. Okay, I am drawing the freehand diagram. I hope you will not mind. This is triangle ABC. Here what is said? Suppose this is the angle bisector. That means these two are, these two angles are equal. This is D, point is D. So here AD is the angle bisector. Okay, suppose this angle is named as angle 1 and this is angle 2. What have to prove? The internal bisector, this is the internal bisector. Sometimes in question number 1 we will get external bisector. We shall discuss later on. The internal bisector of the vertical angle of a triangle divides its base. That means base will be divided. That is what base is BC. So there is a point D. It, the base divided in this way BD by DC is equal to what? In the ratio of the other two sides. That means this internal angle, this angle contains these two sides. So here what we have to prove? Two proof. Let us start with this. Okay. Two proof. That means ratio of these two. AB by AC will be equal to is this internal bisector divides the base in the ratio BD by DC. Okay, how will remember this? You see, in this triangle, always remember this. We have taken the left side, left by right divided by left by right. It is not that this by this equal to this by this. Left right, left right. I hope you are understanding what I am saying about the left right, left right. This is in the left hand side, this is in the right hand side, this is in the left hand side, right hand side. Left side, right hand side, left hand side, right hand side of this figure. Now let, here as it is a theorem, obviously it will, we need some construction part, isn't it? So construction, we need a construction. So what will be the construction? What we do? About this line DA, let us draw a parallel line. Okay, we will draw a parallel line. This line is parallel to da and this is produce we shall produce it okay suppose this is named as a b c d suppose this is e what we have drawn c e is drawn c e is drawn parallel to c e is drawn parallel to da is drawn and b a is extended or produce extended to E. Okay, let us see. Proof. Proof is very, very easy. Do not worry for the proof. Okay, let us mark this angle be angle 3 and this angle be angle 4. Okay, my dear students, let us consider these two parallel lines. This is transversal. This angle, these angles are equal. Why they are equal? Because they are corresponding angle. Okay, here these two lines are parallel so angle this is angle 1 and this is angle 4 angle 1 and angle 4 are equal why so here angle 1 is equal to angle 4 why they are equal obviously they are corresponding angles let us write since corresponding angles and one more here suppose 2 and 3 are equal. These two lines are parallel. One is suppose here this angle and this angle are always equal. Why alternate interior angle? These two lines are parallel. AD it is like this. This is AD and CE. Okay. One angle is this one. Another angle is this one. They are equal. Why they are equal? Alternate interior angles. And angle 2 equal to angle 3. Since alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles but my dear students what is given we have to use the given part angle 1 and angle 2 are equal you see it is given 
the internal bisector internal bi bisect means it will make two equal parts but angle 1 is equal to angle 2 y given you see my dear students in geometry there is no formula but in every step we have to give the logic reason we have to give so therefore as angle 1 equal to angle 2 that means angle 3 is equal to angle 4 we have written got it so angle 3 equal to angle 4 so in triangle ACE we have angle 3 is equal to angle 4 okay in a triangle if these two angles are equal their opposite sides are also equal so in this triangle angle 3 is equal to angle 4 so we can easily write AC and AE are equal therefore AC is equal to AE thing is very very simple okay now you see my dear students the main part comes now there is a triangle PQR and we consider a line suppose XY these two lines are parallel to each other then in general mathematics you have got BPT that is basic proportionality theorem I repeat basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem what does it say if this line is parallel to this base then this by this that is px by xp xq sorry px by xq equal to py by yr this by this equal to this by this upper part by lower part equal to upper part by lower part provided these two lines are parallel this is called basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem the person who stated this at first is, is named as Thales okay so now this concept we shall apply now in triangle what is the name of the triangle bigger triangle EBC EBC which two lines are parallel AD parallel EC AD is parallel to EC EC therefore okay now you see I am trying to draw the figure like this okay bigger triangle I am trying to draw this is E B C okay these two are parallel this is A and D these two are parallel so this by this BD by CD let us try therefore left by right BD by DC is equal to this by this that is BA by AE BA by AE BD by DC is equal to BA by AE now my dear students last line according to the demand of the question we shall write BD by DC BD by DC is equal to BA we shall write as AB same thing is not it AE we have proved this AE equal to what AC that's why this thing we have done to prove AE equal to AC AE equal to AC why reason you will write since AE equal to AC or next line you can write like this also according to the demand of this AB by AC is AB by AC equal to BD by DC BD by DC thus we have proved I hope you understood this now my beloved students after the theorem let us start exercise 8.2 we have taken question number one in the theorem we have got the angle bisector theorem that is internal angle bisector theorem here the thing is same but it is of external angle bisector let us read the question you treat this question as a theorem or a property okay we have to use this property in many of the questions of this exercise is 8.2 so we have to learn it very nicely so let us read the question prove that the external bisector of any angle of a triangle divides the side opposite to the angle in the ratio of the other two sides all right here we at first we have to draw a draw a triangle okay uh, you draw the triangle in such a way that either it is a right angle triangle or it is obtuse angle triangle a b c okay this is the um, exterior angle we have considered this is a b c suppose this is d okay this is the exterior angle of this angle so what do we do we draw the bisector of this so let us this let us produce it also okay this is c 
that means these two angles are equal correct so the, this is we have taken this way, a b c that is d and this is e my dear students what is a a is the angle bisector of angle c a d that is external bisector so what is given given let us write in triangle abc in triangle abc ae is the bisector of angle what is the name angle dac dac okay what we have to prove to prove that the, here external bisector this is the external bisector external bisector of a triangle divides the sides opposite to the, of the angle okay here so it will be op, uh, this is the external angle its bisect this base in this way that is be by ce be by ce in which ratio of the other two sides what are the other two sides ab and ac ab and ac we have to prove dear student this is just like a theorem so we need another construction what is the construction construction is that what we will do for the point c we draw a line which is parallel to ea that is suppose this is af cf sorry so we have drawn cf cf is drawn parallel to ea cf parallel to ea is drawn now let us start our proof before proof let us name this angle suppose this is angle 1 this is angle 2 okay this is angle 3 and this angle is angle 4 okay if we denote these angles by this shorter name it is easier to understand okay now here these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel and this is transversal so angle 2 here angle 2 and angle 3 they are equal why corresponding angle so here first of all angle 2 is equal to angle 3 corresponding angle corresponding angles all right and one more thing you see these two lines are parallel so here again i am showing here these two lines are parallel this is the transversal so here this is angle 1 and this is angle 4 they are equal why alternate interior angles and angle 1 equal to angle 4 why since alternate interior angles got it but what we have what is given these two angles are equal angle 1 and angle 2 are equal but angle 1 and angle 2 they are equal why given okay if these two angles are equal that means if angle 1 and angle 2 are equal that means angle angle 1 means angle 4 they are equal and angle 2 means angle 3 so in this triangle in triangle AFC so in triangle AFC we have if these two angles are equal their opposite sides are equal that means AF is equal to AC AF is equal to AC okay this much we have got now just like the last theorem we have got we have discussed a little bit about the basic proportional theorem or Thales theorem what does it say suppose this is ABC ABC is a triangle D is a DE is a line which is parallel to base BC now here if uh, actually the BPT or the basic proportional theorem is AD by DB is equal to AE by AC the extended part of it is AB this AB by BD is equal to this AC by EC how we have done what we have done here bigger part by the lower smaller part bigger part by the lower smaller part okay so in uh, now these two lines are parallel in which triangle triangle ABE so we have to take that triangle okay 
please be careful which triangle you have to take in triangle ABE. Now, in triangle ABE, which lines are parallel? CF is CF is parallel to EA. Therefore, this ratio equal to this ratio. Which ratio? This bigger one. BE by CE. BE by CE. Bigger by lower smaller one. Here bigger. What is the bigger one? BA or AB? Same thing by lower smaller one. AF. My dear student, one more step left. We have got the first left hand side part. That is BE by CE is equal to one. Which one? AB. AB you have got but this part we have not obtained. AC. Can you write AC? Yes. Why? Or how? Because AF is equal to AC. Since AF equal to AC. Thus we can easily prove this question. Is it okay? Now my beloved students, uh, we have done one theorem and we have solved question number one. Now let us see their application. Their application starts now. Let us take question number two. Let us read the question. In triangle ABC, BC equal to 3 cm, AC equal to 4.8 cm and AB equal to 7.2 cm. The internal and external bisectors of angle A intersect BC with extension at X and Y respectively. Find these values. Okay. The students, at first we have to draw the diagram. My suggestion is that try to draw either a right angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle. If you draw one equi-angle triangle, you will face problem in drawing the proper diagram. Okay, so what do we do? Let us draw an obtuse angle triangle. I think it is visible now. This is suppose A, B, C. Okay, this is extended. This B A is extended. We draw the inter okay at first let us draw the internal bisector. Internal bisector intersect here at X and it is at Y. The external bisector intersect the BC extended at Y. That means here this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, this is given. I am not writing uh, what is given. I am starting with to prove, to find. What we have to find, my dear students? At first, let us give some name here. Suppose this is D. To find BX, XC, BY, and YC. This is very, very easy sum. This is BY. Okay. Okay. Solution. Solution starts from here. Okay. Now, in triangle ABC, AX is the internal bisector in triangle a b c a x is the bisector bisector of angle b a c so so what we get therefore a b by a c left by right left by right is equal to here left by right b x by here it is the demand is to find xc so let us write xc now dear students here these two things are unknown so what we will do let us see a b equal let us put the values i will tell we shall discuss a b equal 7.2 and a c equal to 4.8 what we do at first let us find this bx okay bx we will find now we want we will find bx now where what is given here only the value of here in this side only the value of bc is given the xc or cx we have to find so this cx can be written as bc minus bx okay this smaller part equal to bigger part look at the base of triangle abc cx we will substitute cx by what or xc this x will be substituted by this equal to this bc minus bx bc minus bx all right now you let us remove the decimal because after decimal there is one digit only 72 by 48 bx will find out okay what is the measurement of bc bc is 3 centimeter okay correct now let us cancel cancel by uh, 12 actually it is divisible by 24 
12 6 4 again let us cancel by 2 2 2 ja 3 so let us cross multiply this is 2 bx sorry 2 bx and here 3 3 ja 9 minus 3 bx let us take all bx in this side twice bx um, plus 3 bx is equal to 9 correct okay this is 2 plus 3 5 5 bx is equal to 9 all right have you understood bx is equal to 9 by 5 centimeter you can write in decimal also it will be 1.8 centimeter okay after that so this bx is done xc therefore xc what is xc xc is bc minus bx bc minus bx measurement of bc is 3 in centimeter bx is 9 by 5 we have found let us take the lcm what is the lcm 5 so 3 5 is 15 this is very easy part 6 by 5 centimeter okay this is also done then okay, let us rub it then we will find by and yc all right we have written the measurement of bx and xc here if it is required it will not be required then also we have written now we have to find by and uh, yc you can guess that how we can find we have to take the external bisector okay also ay is the bisector you can write you can use the word external bisector also bisector of angle d a c so d a c this is the angle okay it uh, ay bisected so what is the property we have got again i am discussing it this okay say suppose this is a b c this is d this is e so what was the th theorem or the property if a e bisect this angle then this whole part b e by lower part is equal to a b by a b by a c a b by that the side these two sides contain this external angle so those two sides we have written the bigger one we have to take bigger by smaller this by this okay let us take so here what we will write from as a y divides this external angle so b 2 y b y by c y is equal to a b by a c okay same thing you can see you can match a b by a c right now at first let us find b y okay which will be easier uh, okay let us find c y so then it, it will be easier if we find c y at first we can find b y no problem we shall but we shall start with c y let us write c y now what is this b y b y will be b c you see just look at the diagram please b y means b c plus c y b c plus c y correct okay now let us write the measurement a b equal to how much again a b equal to 7.2 and and and, and a c is 4.8 let us write the measurement of b c b c is 3 c y we have to find out let us write the decibel okay mm, 72 by 48 or you can think that we have multiplied both numerator and denominator by 10 let us cancel by 12 at first okay by 12 we will cancel let us cancel by 2 let us cross multiply 3 into cy 3 cy equal to 3 to just 6 twice cy okay let us bring all cy in this side 3 cy minus 2 cy is equal to 6 so in the process we have obtained cy equal to 6 centimeter okay after that after that what is left cy or yc cy yc same thing by therefore by what is by by is the sum of bc and cy bc is how much 3 centimeter and cy is 6 centimeter this is 9 centimeter okay now let us write the answer answer is bx 9 by 5 centimeter next is xc 
6 by 5 centimeter next is by by is how much we have found here 9 centimeter then next is yc yc is 6 centimeters have you understood now students we have taken question number 3 let us read the question the bisectors that is internal bisectors they have discussed of the angles angle a angle b and angle c of triangle abc intersect bc c a and a b at d e and f respectively and if a b equal to 5 centimeter bc equal to 8 centimeter and c a equal to 4 centimeter then find a f c e and b d okay let us draw the diagram at first okay the diagram is very simple here this is triangle a b c the internal bisectors this is d okay a b okay b c b c is intersected at d then here it is and this is a c at e okay c f okay this is according to the demand of the question we have drawn now dear student do you know what is the uh, here this internal bisectors they intersect at a point then we say that the internal bisectors are concurrent or they pass through a single point what is the name of this point name of the this point is called in center okay these are some minor thing you have to know okay let us apply the theorem in triangle a b c a d is the bisector bisector of angle a okay please concentrate only on a d a d bisect this angle that means this angle equal to this angle so what is the theorem we have got left by right divided equal to left by right that is a b by a c just like this okay i am trying to draw a b c a d is the internal bisector a d is the internal bisector these two angles are angles are equal so left by right is equal to left by right a b by a c is equal to b d by d c b d by dc okay here what we have to find we have to find bd okay so no need to find dc we will not find ab by ac bd we have to find now look at the diagram what is dc dc is equal to bc minus bd i repeat this dc means bc minus bd dc means bc minus bd let us substitute all the values ab value of ab is 5 centimeter value of ac is there 4 centimeter bd we have to find out measurement of bc is 8 centimeter minus bd correct okay let us do the cross multiplication this into this 4 bd 5 8 of 40 minus 5 bd this part let us bring here so this is 4 bd minus 5 bd so this in this side it will be plus 5 bd this is 40 so what happens next this is 9 bd 9 bd is equal to how much 40 so bd is equal to 40 by 9 in centimeter okay this is done bd is done now let us see the angle this angle bisector also be is the bisector of angle B. So, how will write? Two ratios are equal. Okay. So, let us take like this. A, B, C. B, E is the bisector. B, E. So, if we take, okay, this by this, A, B by B, C, upper by lower is equal to upper by lower. A, B by, look at this figure, A, B by B, C. Here also you can say this by this, A, B by B, C, is equal to a e by e c a e by e c okay upper by lower is equal to upper by lower do not take like this a b by b c is not equal to c e by a e do not take that please okay let us put the values a b a b is again 5 centimeter b c is 8 a e a e and e c a e and e c e c we have to find out e c or c same thing correct here 
EC. EC is this or CE, same thing. But no need to find AE. So why you will write AE? And because the measurement of AE is not given, so we have to write the measurement of AE in terms of AC. So what is AE? What is this measurement? Bigger one minus smaller one. This AE means AC minus CE or EC. So this is AC minus, let us write EC. Okay, this is 5 by 8. AC, measurement of AC is how much? There, you can check. This is 4 minus EC by EC. Let us do the cross multiplication. 5 into EC, 5 EC, 4 at the 32 minus 8 EC. So this is 5 EC, then this is minus, this is minus 8 EC. On this side it will be plus 8 EC is equal to 32, got it? So this is 13 EC is equal to 32. So actually we have to find C, so in place of EC let us write C, 32 divided by 13 centimeter. Now dear students we have to rub, isn't it, to find the this one AF, okay. Now dear students here we have to find this AF only. Okay, this is left AF. How we will find AF? Let us see. Here, let us take this part uh, CF bisects angle C. Also, CF bisects angle C. So, therefore, what do we get? What do we obtain? Ratios are equal. Let us draw the rough diagram. Okay, A, B, C. Okay. These two angles are equal. This is CF. So, this upper by lower AC by upper by lower AC by BC is equal to upper by lower. Okay, AF by BF. AF by BF. Okay, let us see which measurements are given. AC is 4 centimeter, BC is 8 centimeter. Now here AF we have to find, okay, we will find AF, no need to find BF. So what is this BF? Here the measurement of AB is given just like other two cases, last two cases. So this BF means, this BF means AB minus AF. I repeat, BF means AB minus AF, bigger one minus smaller one, AB minus AF. We can cancel 1 by 2. 1 by 2, alright, AF we have to find out, AB, measurement of AB is 5 cm minus AF, let us do the cross multiplication, 2 into AF, twice AF, 1 into this same thing, it is very easy as we are multiplying with 1, so this is twice AF minus AF, isn't it, so in this side it will be plus AF is equal to 5, so this is 3AF, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3AF is equal to 5. So in the process what we are obtaining, A is equal to 5 by 3 centimeter. Now let us write the answer, what is asked? AF, first one is AF, AF is equal to 5 by 3 centimeter. Next is CE, the measurement of CE, already we found that 32 by 13 centimeter and the last one is BD, measurement of BD is, there you can check, you can see 40 by 9 centimeter. Have you understood? Now we have taken question number 4, let us read the question. Show that external bisectors of two angles and internal bisector of the third angle of a triangle are concurrent. Concurrent, this word concurrent means some lines which passes through a single point. Okay, so we have to draw the triangle at first okay this is one triangle correct a b c at first what is say so that the ex external bisector of two angles two external bisector that means okay let us produce this and this is also produced okay suppose this is produced to x and this is produced to y now let us draw the external bisectors external bisectors okay suppose they intersect here. External bisectors will always intersect because these two lines are not this diverging, this is converging, so they will obviously meet at a single point. Okay. Now, 
and what is said and the internal bisector of the third angle of a triangle are concurrent this is the third angle this is the external angle this is also an external angle these are the first two angles the third angle is this angle a and will be an angle c b and c are these two angles where external angles are taken and their bisectors intersect at point o we have to show that the internal bisector will also pass through this logically we have to prove because how can we show that that this passes through this log but we have to show logically what we do just let us join ao we join ao just will we have then this line will show that this line is the bisector what what is our procedure again i am saying these two bo question is we have to show that three lines are concurrent means passes through this point okay passes through this point two lines will obviously they intersect now problem is about with the third one third one will pass through this or not that one also just we have taken a line here we have not said then a is the ao is the bisector of this angle we have not said we will prove that this is the bisector here what is the construction construction is that construction is that ao is joined what do you have to prove okay i forgot to write to prove please write it earlier before construction to prove to we have to prove that ao is the bisector bisector of angle a this angle a okay and some more construction are required what are those construction we will draw some perpendiculars okay some perpendiculars so gradually i am explaining here i have not written okay now i'll write and here also a perpendicular okay suppose uh, a b c this is d this is e and this is f figure is clumsy isn't it okay so what we have drawn joined then od perpendicular to ax oy perpendicular to a y and this of perpendicular to bc are drawn correct okay now let us start the proof my dear student before this proof we will discuss something about the property of a angle bisector this is one angle any angle that was pqr we have taken a bisector that means these two angles are equal here let us consider any point suppose s we drop perpendicular draw a perpendicular like this correct suppose this is a and this is b this is P in pqr qs is the angle bisector that means these two angles are equal here we have dropped some perpendicular we have drawn perpendiculars now can we show these two triangles are congruent obviously we can show these two triangles are congruent by which property angle angle side you see these two angles are equal these two angles are equal right angle this is common side correct so by angle angle side they are congruent if they are congruent we can write as is equal to bs cpct congruent parts of congruent triangles so this property we are going to apply here okay not those two property that is the if this is the bisector ab by ac is equal to bd by dc not that property this property we shall use here please try to understand if qs if any line bisect a given angle then from any point of that bisector perpendiculars length of the perpendiculars are equal okay qs is the bisector of this angle q then this as is equal to bs that is from any point if we choose here any point then these two lengths are also equal we can you can show by that proving that these two triangles are congruent okay and conversely conversely if these two are equal these two lengths are equal then as qs is the bisector i repeat first of all we have obtained that in any 
angle bisector if we choose any point the perpendicular distances are equal we have just shown that by how can you show by the congruency okay let it be then conversely what is the converse of it if these two perpendicular distances are equal then this is the angle bisector that means these two angles will be equal okay let us proceed here you choose this one okay here just like this angle b okay angle b we have chosen and the perpendicular distances are taken these are the perpendicular distance this is o and this is d and this is f correct can you get the theorem angle these angles are equal these angles are equal and these two perpendicular distance od and of so since bo is the bisector bisector of angle angle suppose x b c so what can write therefore od is equal to of right this is relation one also this is if you understand this concept solution is very simple you will find also now let us take the same case here also co bisects bisects angle bcy okay again let us draw this here this is c okay perpendicular distance we are considering this point is o this point from o we are drawing the perpendicular this is perpendicular is e here perpendicular is f so we can write that o e is equal to o f therefore o e is equal to o f this is 2 from 1 and 2 we get what do we get what do we obtain you see o d is equal to o f again o e is also equal to o f that means they are equal o f o f equal so therefore what we get o d is equal to o e that means this o d is equal to o d is equal to o e that means in this triangle like this thing is like this this is a and any point the perpendicular distances this are the perpendicular okay this is any line AO is a line we have not said this is the angle bisector okay here it is D in this side D and here the perpendicular length is E here what we have OD is equal to OE OD is equal to OE here if this is the angle bisector the lengths are equal perpendicular distance are equal conversely if perpendicular distance are equal this is the angle bisector here we have obtained that perpendicular distance are equal that means these two angles are equal if you have doubt you can see that we can prove if these two distances are equal we can show that these two triangles are congruent how 90 degree 90 degree this is equal this side equal to this side and this is common side okay so by rhs they are congruent if they are congruent obviously these two angles are equal cpct therefore ao is the internal bisector of angle a we had to prove this ao is the bisector of angle a thus proved practice this sum few times okay because this sum is little bit different from the rest of the other sum right now my beloved students we have taken question number five let us read the question the in center i of triangle abc is joined with the vertex a of a line segment which is extended to meet bc okay this is rubbed x show that a i is to i x equal to a b plus a c is to b c please put a bracket here this bracket is not there in the book okay let us try to draw the figure ABC is the triangle here the internal bisector okay is it is X this point is X okay here I is internal uh, in center okay just you have to know what is in center there are three angles angle A angle B and angle C these three angle bisectors if we draw the angle bisector they intersect at a point 
that point is called in center that means this line and this angle bisector and this angle bisector, they are concurrent we use the word concurrent because they pass through a single point that particular point is called in center here what we have to prove let us start with two proof ai by ix is equal to okay, this is ai ab plus ac divided by bc construction okay we need some a small part of construction we require it for the time being let us keep it blank okay because at present if i say this is drawn or this is drawn there is a confusion why we have drawn for what purpose we have drawn that construction or that drawing so let us keep it blank for some time proof when we require it we'll write is as the construction proof okay now you see what is ax ax is the angle bisector of angle a it is given in the question it angle bisector in extended to mid bc at x this ai is extended to mid bc at x here ax bisects angle a so by the theorem what we obtain left by right is equal to left by right ab by ac this proof is very very simple bx by xc okay now with it what we'll do we shall add one question is why we'll explain plus one for one reason we have added one now only you'll realize for ac lcm ab plus AC divided by 1 is AC, AC into 1 is AC. Here, XC is the LCM. So, XC divided by XC is 1, 1 into BX, BX. And there directly also you can write XC. Here you see, dear student, we need AB plus AC in the numerator. To obtain AB plus AC, we have added 1. This is one reason. Another reason is that, bx plus bx plus xc we have obtained bc okay we will this bc we will obtain here okay bx plus xc bx plus xc is bc bc by xc now what we need ab plus ac divided by bc we have obtained bc this ab plus ac this bc we bring it here if we bring it here, AC should be again brought there, XC. This is equation. Have you understood? Here, one confusion may come in your brain. Why we have added one? This thing is discussed that if we add one, we'll get AC. In the process, we obtain AB plus AC. And here, simultaneously, what we obtain? There, in the numerator of this part, we in the numerator, we obtain BX plus XC. If we add BX plus XC, we obtain BC because BC is also required. So, AB plus AC divided by BC, its expression is AC divided by XC. Okay, my dear student. Now, that means we have to show this equal to, this equal to AI by IX. Conversely, we have to show that AC, okay, listen, what we have to show? AC by XC is equal to, we have to show that AI by IX. AC by XC is equal to AI, this by this. When we can get that, if this internal bisector is drawn, okay, then here what will write? CI is joint. This is the construction, okay. Also, here I is the in center, that means CI must be the angle bisector. AI is the angle bisector, CI is the angle bisector of angle C, BI is the angle bisector of angle B. Also, CI bisects, CI bisects angle C in, in triangle. You concentrate in triangle like this, okay? AXC concentrate here so therefore what do you obtain 
two ratios are equal. We have to show. We have to take the expression of AC by XC. So these by this upper by lower. AC by XC. AC by XC. Up here we have written upper by lower, upper by lower. AI by IX. This is equation two. Now. Equation one, this equal to AC by XC. In equation two, this same AC by XC equal to this. So from one and two, you obtain from equations one and two, we get what do you obtain, my dear students? This AB plus AC divided by BC is equal to this equal to AC by XC. AC by XC is equal to AI by IX. Now, according to the demand of the question, let us write this one. We have to write at first this part. AI by IX is equal to AB plus AC divided by BC. Thus, we have proved. You see, the solution is very, very simple, isn't it?